Hey guys, welcome back to Katie Cat Cooks. I'm Ethan, and it's February, and Valentine's Day is coming up. And every time that I think of Valentine's Day, I think of flamingos. And I don't know if it's because they're pink, or when both of their necks come together, they make a cute heart shape. But if you've been a Katie Cat since day one, or right now, you've probably seen flamingos represented throughout all of her era. In One of the Boys, flamingos were used all throughout her performances. In Teenage Dream, we found pink flamingos in the pool, and for Witness, we have pink flamingos on tour. Now, one thing I think everyone should learn how to make are Rice Krispies. They're super simple, usually only have three or four ingredients, and are super customizable. Now, today we're going to put those two things together and make pink flamingo Rice Krispies. So the things you'll need to make these pink flamingo Rice Krispies will be six cups of Rice Krispies cereal, four cups of mini marshmallows, three tablespoons of butter, two to three drops of pink food coloring, and you'll also want a pink flamingo cookie cutter. I found this one at Michael's, and I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to get this one too. So our first step is we're gonna take our marshmallows and our butter and a large stock pot and put that on the stove. Medium high heat, start by adding your butter and melt the butter until tiny bubbles start to form. Next, turn your stove down to medium and add in the marshmallows. Cook the marshmallows until they no longer resemble a marshmallow shape and pull away from the sides. Turn your stove completely off and add in the food coloring. I found using three drops is perfect. Then add your Rice Krispie cereal and mix it up until the mixture comes together. So, um, so our Rice Krispies are cooling just for a little bit so they're not hot to the touch. And right here I've just got a 9 by 13 pan and some cooking spray and I'm just going to lightly spray the bottoms just so we can easily get our Rice Krispies out. So our Rice Krispies are off the stove and they've cooled just a little bit and we've got the pan lightly greased. So now just take all of your Rice Krispies and put them into the pan and make a flat layer. So once you place them in the pan, a quick tip is if you actually wet your fingers with a little bit of cold water and push the Rice Krispies into the pan, it'll actually keep your hands from getting sticky and it'll help the Rice Krispies form their shape. I'm gonna eat all of these. Someone call a doctor. <laughs> Got a case of a hungry eater. So our Rice Krispies are firmly packed into the pan. Now I'm just going to set these off to the side for 10 to 15 minutes for them to cool down. While I'm doing that, I'm going to hold a flamingo pose the whole time. Ready? Oh jeez. Do flamingos knees bend backwards too? Mine, mine don't do that. <laughs> and 15 minutes. So our Rice Krispies have had plenty of time to cool down. Now we get to cut out our flamingo shapes. When cutting out your flamingos, just be sure that you arrange them so you get the most out of your Rice Krispie treats. Obviously, there's going to be some extra, and that can just be a little treat for you. Now you can leave your flamingos just like this. They look really cute, but I thought I'd make mine just a little bit cuter by adding some decorations. So right here, I've got some... <laughs> Black and white chocolate that I melted here, and also some googly eyes to make them look a little more cartoony. Start by dipping your flamingo's beaks into your white chocolate until fully submerged. Then add your black chocolate using a toothpick onto the tip of the beak, and then draw two lines out from the tip to give the accents of the beak. Then using that same black chocolate and the toothpick, attach your googly eyes. So here we have them, our cute flamingo Rice Krispie treats that we made today. These span throughout all of Katie's eras, and they're so customizable and so unique. You can make different colors, different designs. They're perfect for breakfast or just a snack. If you happen to make these, please share them with me on Instagram and Twitter, at KatieCatCooks. I love seeing my Katy Perry creations come to life in your kitchen. Also, if you have any other ideas for another Katie Cat Cooks, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to make it happen. Oh, oh, oh.